And then there's also energy trading, which is something they said they're going to do in Berlin, where um, they're going to integrate auto bidder and virtual power plant into the cars. So the car can actually do energy trading. So that's vehicle to grid because Elon has kind of downplayed vehicle to grid, but it's mm -hmm. interesting how in the Texas blackouts, like it, your mm -hmm. car having power became like everything. Like, yeah, people rarely yeah. use it, but like when you use it, if you need it, it could be worth like thousands of dollars to have power and power your home when no one else does. So yeah. Yeah. I think wh you what's know, more about this Berlin thing that you were saying, because that sounds really interesting. Well, yeah. When he was kind of like downplaying it at battery day, they kind of dropped some mad hints. They're like, well, we are going to have, he said, you know, it's not really going to be for, he said, we think you're going to have a power wall for home, for home battery backup. He was just trying to kind of sell power wall and say that you don't, you know, this isn't going to get rid of power wall. So he's like, you still want a power wall, but Berlin is going to support power in and out. So you can not only charge the battery, but you can discharge the battery back to the grid. And he said, this is going to be for energy market participation. So essentially like, people can get paid to store renewable energy into their cars, excess renewable energy, when the grid is producing extra and they can get paid for discharging it back to the grid when it's peak load. And rather than fire, firing up like a peaker plant, they can just use the energy in the batteries. And Tesla has wow. developed this really amazing software called Virtual Power Plant, which they're using in Australia and other places. And what it lets them do is control all these batteries over the internet so they can control when the power walls charge and discharge and control when the cars charge and discharge. So essentially you're taking like thousands of cars and power walls and making them into a mega pack. It can function exactly like a mega pack, but rather than being centralized, it's in everyone's home and just trading energy and making money doing that. And you're making money. So your car is making money for you, just like the robo taxi thing. Dude, this is, I think this is a huge part of what Tesla's scheming on and the Texas thing. So Texas is an unregulated energy market. So I was thinking like, what are they scheming with this battery? Like, how is this actually going to work? Yeah. What if they put up all the capital and they're building it and they're just going to charge it when it's cheap. And then when next time Jerry Jones and his squad tries to hike prices 2000% <laughs> on people out of nowhere, they're going to come in at a cheaper rate and start evening out that, that thing, almost like a rogue energy market participant because the Texas yeah. is sort of like this, you know, free market in the energy market. So I was like, wow, that's going to be epic. Like Tesla sort of operating and setting up either whether it's decentralized or centralized sort of power plants with these batteries is going to become a huge piece of it. And another reason I'm kind of bullish on this, ironically, is like, you know, Ron Barron is super hyped on this. Like Chama, whenever he talks about Tesla now, he's scheming on this. And I think like, you know, he's in the know about yeah. all that stuff. And so um, a very kind of underappreciated part of, of that, but all right. So yeah, do, do, totally do we got to talk about SPACs or any more comments on this before we <laughs> hit Lucid? Uh, yeah. So the last thing I'll say is that like, you know, we always talk about cars with Tesla, but Elon made the point that like the energy business is bigger than the car business, right? So you've got the cars, but selling energy to the cars is a much bigger market um, and potentially much more lucrative in terms of earnings. Like, you could buy power for 12 cents a kilowatt hour. And then in these disaster situations like Tesla, where it's like, you know, hundreds of dollars a kilowatt hour, you literally buy it for cents and sell it for huge amounts of money. Um, and Tesla has this auto bidder software that literally does this in an automated way. It uses AI to predict the prices of power and buy and trade power based on that. So definitely that's an enormous business, like potentially, you know, like, in 10 years, you know, some analysts have estimated like 30% of their revenue could come from energy rather than cars. And I think it could be anywhere from 30 to 50% because you can sell that energy to every EV, not just Tesla's. Wow. And there's, yeah, a huge increase in energy demand from the grid as everything goes electric. Think about your cyber truck and your, you know, semi truck, how much energy does yeah. that need? Where does that, all those problems, also opportunities for Tesla to create a business. Wow.